We are going to solve this question from Gate Mechanical Engineering Paper 2022 Set 1. The question is, a 4 mm thick aluminum sheet of width W is equals to 100 mm is rolled in a 2 roll mill of roll diameter 200 mm each. The workpiece is lubricated with a mineral oil which gives a coefficient of friction mu is equals to 0.1. The flow stress of the material in MPA is Sigma is equals to 207 plus 414 epsilon, where epsilon is the true strain. Assuming rolling to be a plane strain deformation process, the roll separation force for maximum permissible draft thickness reduction is in kN. So, they are already also giving equation for your roll separating force F is equals to 1.15. Sigma star bar 1 plus mu L upon 2 H bar W L. So we will write the data given first. Data given W is equals to 100 mm, D is equals to 200 mm, H naught is given as 4 mm, mu is given as 4.1, sigma F is equals to 207 plus 414 epsilon and f they are asking for f the equation is also given 1.15 sigma bar 1 plus mu l divided by 2 h bar w l so firstly we will find the delta h max so mu square r is equals to delta h max from here, H0 minus HF is equals to 0.1 square into 100. So, H0 minus HF will be 1 and your HF will be, your HF will be 3M. So, your delta H max will be 4 minus 3 that is 1M. Now, we will find the contact length L. So, L will be under root R delta H. H bar is from here we will get the contact length which will be under root 100 into 1 that is 10 mm. H bar is what? H bar is average sheet thickness. So, H bar is H naught plus HF by 2. Now, we will fill the value of this into equation F this equation. So, after solving this, we will solve for sigma bar. So, firstly, we will make the diagram. What is the equation is giving? This is your sigma t and this is your epsilon. This will be sigma naught plus k epsilon n. Here, your sigma naught is given as 207. So, h bar we have already calculated as 4 plus 3 divided by 2 that is 3.5 mm. Your sigma flow will be sigma t that is 207 plus 414 epsilon. We have to find sigma bar that is sigma average is equals to sigma bar is equals to 1 upon e 0 to epsilon sigma t d epsilon. Now, from for sigma t, we will put this equation and we will solve it. So, it will come as 1 upon epsilon sigma naught epsilon plus k epsilon n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. Now, we will, uh, we will simplify this equation and it will come as sigma average is equals to if sigma average is equals to 1 upon epsilon sigma naught epsilon plus k epsilon n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So, in the quotient n is, if n is 1, so your sigma average will be 207 plus 414 by 2 epsilon. Yeah, epsilon is true strain. So, epsilon is epsilon is equals to ln h naught by hf. We will put the value of H0 and HF. So, your epsilon true strain will be 0.2876. Now, we will fill all the values to get the sigma average. 
So your sigma average will be 26.53 MPa and then we just set the edge mu L and 2 H bar we will fill in this equation. So this equation will turn out as F is equal to 1.15 into 266.53 1 plus 0.1 into 10 divided by 2 into 3.5, 100 into 10. So here you get the answer as 351 kN. So your answer will be 351. Thank you for watching this video.